Hello everyone, we will continue the topic database operations and in the previous video, we started with modify database operation. We all know modify is insert plus update. So we have not given any message yes as a part of add selection screen event. Now, what we will do? Now we will write the logic to mod for modify as a part of which particular event start of selection. The same practice we followed for each and every event. Now I will write the logic for modify. And then we will understand the full flow of modify into the debugging code. Now, if fourth radio button is capital X. For every if there is a and if. Now, the same to same syntax is for modify also. Same to same. Modify database table from work area. Now, the keyword is modify. Rather than update, the keyword is modify. For all the database operations, except select yes, Insert, update, delete, modify, same to same syntax. They insert database table from work area or internal table. Same for delete, update, and modify. Modify database table from work area. Modify database table from table, internal table. If we are going for multiple records. Now, what I will do? So many times we have written same to same logic. So whatever is coming from the selection screen parameters, we will pass it to work area. From the work area, yes, we will pass it to our database table. So can I copy same to same logic? Yes, same to same logic. Now, Rather than update, now we need to use which particular thing? Modify. Now I will simply give text 004 and I will just give the message record modified successfully. I will give the length. Okay, 30. I will activate. I will go to back button. So whatever you are passing from the screen, we pass it to work area. From the work area, we pass it to our database table. I'll check the syntax and we will activate it. Now, what we will do, we will study the full flow of modify into debugging mode. And yes, it will be important because we will see both the scenarios, how it is inserting also, how it is updating also. So I will put a breakpoint as a part of start of selection, as a part of add selection screen, and as a part of add selection screen output. I will run the program. We all know firstly which event will call add selection screen output event will call because this event called every time before displaying the selection screen or input screen. Now, fourth radio button is by default ticked. But 
nothing is in the work area because uh, we have not fetched anything as of now. We have not even given the order number. So this work area is blank. So this parameter values will also be blank. Okay. Now, suppose I am going for a order number which is not in the table as of now. Okay, suppose I will go for this. I'm pressing enter. We all know, yes, whenever we will go for 15, yes, which is not in the database table, fourth radio button is capital X. It will try to fetch the data from the table. But 15 is not in the table. So you have you seen size sub RC is other than zero, yes. But we will not go for any message because if 15 is not in the table, it should insert. So, but we are clearing the work area. Now, after that, which event will call? Add selection screen output because this event called every time before displaying the selection screen or input screen. As this work area is blank, so blank values will move to the parameters. Okay. Now, user can give the values. Suppose user is giving some order date, user is giving some payment mode, user is giving some total amount, suppose user is giving some currency. Now we will click on to execute button. We all know we performed a action. So first we add selection screen called, but there's, there's no validation at all. So now control will go to start of selection. So this is our start of selection. Fourth radio button is capital X. Yes. If condition is true. Parallelly, I will show you the data of the table. Just see as of now we have order number 1 to 12. Now whatever we pass from the screen, we are passing to work area. See work area has order number 15. This order number 15 is getting into this database table using modify, using modify. Size sub RC is zero. Yes, in case of modify, if it is insert update, always the size sub RC will be zero, zero. Now you can see we are getting the message. So yes, 15 order number is now inserted, inserted. Have you seen 15 order number inserted? So this is the main benefit of modify database operation. Suppose now I will show you update. Suppose we are going for now order number 10. This is the new order number which we inserted. Suppose I am going for an order number which is already in that table. I am pressing enter. We all know which event will call first at selection screen event will call. So now this order number 10 is in the database table. So details of that order number will into this work area. Order date, payment mode, total amount, currency. We are not clearing the work area. Now work area has the values. Add selection screen output event will call. This is our order date, payment mode, total amount, currency. We are passing it to parameters. This is our order date, payment mode, total amount, currency. Now you can see values will move. This is our order date, payment mode, total amount, currency. Done. Now user can change. Suppose user want to change the currency to INR again. With the help of modify, now we are updating. Now you can see as of now in that table, the USD is there. Suppose user is changing the currency. Suppose user is changing the payment mode to N. We will execute. Firstly, add selection screen event will call, but there is no validation. Yes, 
just because everything is correct in case of modify. Now, start of selection event called. Start of selection will go for fourth radio button. We gave the order number 10. So whatever we gave, we are passing it to work area. So in the work area, we have the order number 10. For order number 10, we are changing payment mode to N and currency to Ariana. Now we are executing. So size of RC is always zero, yes. Now if I will go for a refresh, now you can see currency changed to INR, payment mode changed to N with the help of modify. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, firstly, we have written the logic as a part of modify database operation. And we have written the logic in start of selection event. Then we understood the full flow in the debugging mode. We firstly inserted the record. Then we updated the record because we all know modify fulfill both the purpose. It acts as insert also. It acts as update also. So this is all, all finishing of all database operation. Insert, update, delete and modify. So that's it in this video. Thank you.